President Abdel Fattah Hassisi stressed the importance of resuming negotiations between the Palestinian and the Israeli sides with the aim of reaching a just, fair and comprehensive settlement of the Palestinian cause. This came during the President's meeting with Mike Turner, the chairman of the U.S. House Intelligence Committee and his accompanying congressional delegation. Here are the details. During his meeting with the chairperson of the U.S. House Intelligence Committee, Mike Turner, on Saturday in Cairo, President Abdel Fattah Sisi discussed a number of regional issues, including the Palestinian-Israeli cause and the ongoing military clashes in Sudan. Regarding the Palestinian-Israeli issue, President Sisi said that working to resume negotiations between the Palestinian and Israeli sides with the aim of a just and comprehensive settlement of the Palestinian issue is a must. President Sisi added that Egypt is exerting relentless efforts in parallel to stabilize the truce between the Palestinian and Israeli sides as well as the, the initiatives for the reconstruction of Gaza. He stressed that a just and comprehensive peace would open new and broad horizons in the region in the interest of the development and prosperity for all peoples. Presidential spokesperson Councillor Ahmed Fahmi said that the president affirmed Egypt's stance toward the current developments in Sudan in terms of the necessity of a permanent and comprehensive ceasefire and the initiation of a peaceful dialogue leading to the completion of the transitional period. Fahmi added that the two sides tackle the strength and durability of the strategic partnership between Washington and Cairo, noting that the U.S. side praised Egypt's role in combating terrorism, which requires the continuation and strengthening of cooperation and consultation between both sides at all levels. The meeting was attended by a large delegation of U.S. House Intelligence Committee, head of the Egyptian General Intelligence Agency, Major General Abbas Kamel, and Charge d'Affaires in the U.S. Embassy in Cairo, John Droter. President Abdel Fattah Hassisi gave directives to afford all the facilities to Egypt's future or Mustaqbal Musr agricultural project in a way that serves the urban development path. This came during the president's meeting with the presidential advisor for the urban planning, Major General Amir Sayyid Ahmed, and the executive director of the Egyptian Future Apparatus for the Sustainable Development, Colonel Beha El Ghanem. As Sisi said during this meeting, that the new Delta project aims at expanding the cultivated land in Egypt in order to decrease the current gap in the different strategic crops and reach food security, as well as creating job opportunities in various fields. Presidential spokesperson Ahmed Fahmi said that the meeting discussed all the access of the national mega-projects in different sectors nationwide. Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli participated on behalf of President Abdel Fattah Hassisi in the coronation ceremony of King Charles III. During the coronation ceremony, the Prime Minister conveyed the congratulations of President Hassisi to King Charles III, as well as the President's wishes of goodness and prosperity to the United Kingdom. On his part, King Charles expressed his appreciation to Egypt and its leadership for the high-level participation in the coronation ceremony hailing the strong ties between the two countries. On the sidelines of his participation in the ceremony, Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli met with the British Foreign Secretary James Cleverly and congratulated him on the occasion of the coronation of King Charles III, praising the distinguished organization of the coronation that reflects the history of the country. On his side, the British Foreign Secretary praised the distinguished relations and cooperation that binds Egypt and the United Kingdom, stressing that Egypt is an important partner to Britain, asserting the importance of boosting bilateral relations to higher levels as Egypt is an active international player. The two discussed a number of regional and international files atop of them is the Sudanese crisis, as Madbouli explained, the Egyptian continuous efforts 
to find a rapid solution for the crisis. The British top diplomat thanked Egypt for helping in the evacuation process of the British residents. The talks also discussed the Egyptian developmental efforts during the past period and the British Secretary praised the well organization of the COP27. Earlier, Madbouli also met with a number of prime ministers and the heads of delegations of the other countries participating in the coronation ceremony. Charles 